Property surfing today at the Scott Project, or the Barmaid as I call it. Um, we're across the road from a local hotel and the barmaid lived in this house behind us for the best part of 40 or 50 years as I can understand it. So she literally stumbled across the road, either to work or from work. Anyway, um, today I'm calling it the house on the hill. You can see that we've completed a site cut at the front of the site. I'm going to try and pan around and show you. Um, which gives us an access up to three homes that we built at the rear behind this property. Almost like a little mini townhouse complex, but in reality it's two duplexes, um, an old house, a new house, and then a common party wall duplex at the rear. So four homes on two properties. The reason that we've cut the guts out of this site is because council, in their infinite wisdom, wanted us to level out the footpath. Um, so I can understand that completely, have it flat with the road, but you know, I gotta wonder when, if you look at our neighbour here, they're literally a metre and a half higher than our site, or, and they were where we were. So what we've now got is a retaining wall on the footpath. The footpath is literally gonna run straight into the power pole. We've had to retain the front of our house so we can get a couple of car parking bays in the front. And if you look over my shoulder here, there's an existing footpath that is now a metre and a half higher than where we were. We've got to lower the sewer manhole, so no one, anyone who says development's easy and developers don't contribute um, obviously hasn't been in this sort of situation, but um, I just cannot understand the logic here. But nonetheless, that's what's required, and when you're property surfing, you've uh, got to do what the authorities say. So maybe they'll be right, maybe the outcome will match up. You know, certainly they're going to force the adjoining owners whenever they go and renovate to uh, make significant cuts and bring it down. But i, I got to wonder why when there's existing infrastructure that's a metre and a half. As we've dug holes here, we've turned up Telstra lines, NVM lines. We've had to lower sewer and water all for the sake of um, having the footpath at the kerb rather than having a flat footpath a metre higher that would have connected with the other ones. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Project rolls on. Keep property surfing.